Good um, afternoon. It is like 12.05, so I suppose it's afternoon now. So we are welcoming all of our winter projects into the shop, and one of them is right here behind me. So um, I'm just going to show you kind of some of the stuff that we're looking at on this 77 Trans Am that's going to be getting a full repaint uh, this winter for shows next year. Um, most people are looking at this car and saying to the owners, why on earth would you repaint that car? It looks great. However, to the trained eye and upon much closer inspection, there are definitely some problem areas and some major tape lines and things that are um, kind of an eyesore when you really, when you know they're not there. Once you know they're there, you can't unsee them. So you just keep staring at them. So we're gonna take a look over here at this Trans Am which arrived yesterday. So we are in process of initial inspection. Um, there's a bunch of marks on the car right now. Um, I did a walk around. So I marked out things like dents, large paint defects, uh, body lines. So you can see right there, there's some rippling happening. Um, these are actually not even the correct trim and weather stripping. And when the person installed them, he used way too much pressure on the sheet metal on the door and caused rippling all the way across the top of the door. Um, you can't really see it in the camera, but trust me, it is there. Um, we are also marking out things like body lines so that when we are trying to fit everything back together, because um, we take everything off in order to paint it, we need to remember what wasn't fitting quite properly, and then we will test fit again once we do the repairs. So this body line, this door is actually out from the quarter here, and it's out, and there's a whole lot of chipping down at the bottom. Um, it does actually have a 77, or I'm sorry, a 79 bird on it, so we are going to remove the hood, send the hood home with the owners, and they can use it as wall art in their house and we will be replacing it with a new hood because this one actually has previous repairs uh, and rust bubbling up on the other side that I mean you could repair it but since they want to change out the sticker and everything anyway um, we're just gonna go ahead and get a new one and then they can make good use of this one the you can see that the um, grill assembly it almost never fits properly on these cars, so that will be a challenge, and we may end up needing to get a new one because there is cracking. This is going to crack soon. You can see it's already rippling. And on this side, we have a whole lot of cracks all the way through here. This is what I'm talking about with a tape line. So you can see distinctly two extremely different colors there once you look at it closely. Now if you're standing in front of the car, standing upright, you probably won't see it. If you were standing on the side of the car, probably won't see it. But that's not supposed to be there. So that's going to go away. There's a whole bunch of cracks down there too. And there's a dent on the body line here. Um, not to mention there's at least like three to four layers of paint in a lot of these seams because it seemed like nobody wanted to do the work to actually remove panels and trim and mirrors and things when they were repainting the car. So we're going to do all that and chemically strip some of it because otherwise we'd be sitting here with mechanical stripping forever. Um, these will probably have to be replaced as there's cracking. There's like four different cracks on this side and Again, the weather stripping, this was not done well or correctly. And he gouged the paint, and it seems like there's actually a tape line up there as well. So, more marks for body alignment. I mean, really, if you're 20 feet away from this car and I hadn't written on it with a pen, you would never see most of this stuff. When you get really close, and it's going to be hard to see on here, but you can see all these little speckles. That's all dirt in the paint that should have been sanded out when it was being wet sanded and buffed after it was painted this last time. But they didn't do it that way. Um, they also didn't remove that spoiler that is now on the floor. And so there's at least two layers of paint up here in front of it and behind it, and they just 
left exposed primer on the deck lid there, and we do have some rust coming through on some of these holes. Um, the nice white fuzzy material will be removed from the uh, package tray in here, and then we'll also be doing some seat updates. They are going to be getting possibly foam, but they will get seat covers because they're getting faded and they're starting to crack down at the bottoms. Um, we're going to need door hinges and bushings on this door because the door doesn't want to fit. And Steve's back here working. Someone's got to, right? Yeah, I'm just chatting away. Um, so he's taken off all the trim, he's taken out the lights. Uh, we also know for a fact that the quarters were repaired, so there's actually a whole lot of cracking going on down here already. And there's some pretty major fit issues with this rear bumper. We haven't done anything with this rear bumper yet. That is just how it's on there. So that'll need some finagling to get it to fit correctly. And the deck lid is rusty. So we will be doing rust repair on the deck lid. Um, that'll have to get sandblasted and then treated. Anything you want to add? Besides all that, the car is actually pretty nice if you think about it. Uh, there's no major rusting in the trunk. Um, floor pans, uh, fenders really, that we haven't found yet. Um, like typical areas of these cars that rot out pretty fast, this car is pretty nice. So, um, like Molly said, the lower quarters have been patched in and um, whoever did that, I do believe the customer said that was done in like 1984. Mm -hmm. So, it was a good job, you know, and it's, you know, a little bit of shrinkage, but no rust coming back through. So, um, but now we're going to actually do them uh, correctly and, uh, you know, we're going to take off everything to paint it. Um, this only took me... Two, obviously you can see two nuts here and take that off it took me I don't know 30 seconds but nobody else would do that because see that's that's paint built up right there which is just ridiculous I don't get it I will never understand alrighty so that is the 77 Trans Am that will get the 77 sticker package and a full repaint so I suppose I should go help him because otherwise he's going to get mad at me. But thanks for stopping by. That is just one of several winter projects that we have in here for this winter. Um, and then we've got even more fun stuff coming in in the spring. So stay tuned and we will keep you updated on all of our uh, projects as they progress, all the things that we're doing, um, and maybe even some fun welding projects because I got a new welding coat, so I'm pretty excited about using it. So we'll catch you later. Have a good one.